Hai, Assalamualaikum guys How are you today? Today, we are gonna learn about descriptive text The agenda of today's lesson are Objectives, warming up, material, exercise, and homework In line with the learning objective, at the end of the lesson, I hope every one of you can identify and understand in describing about something such as thing, human, animal, and so on. Okay, before we start our lesson today, let's do a warming up guys! Please choose the suitable description based on the picture. Yeah, warming up one. How is the baby feeling? Warming up two. What job that he has? Warming up three. What is the texture of this thing? Warming up four. Hmm, how does durian taste? Yeah, the anis. How do you describe her? Hmm. Now, I will explain about descriptive text material. In this section, I will divide the material into six parts. The first is about the definition of descriptive text. So, what is descriptive text? Well, descriptive text is a text which says what a person or a thing is like. Its purpose is to describe and reveal a particular person, place, or thing. Second is generic structure of descriptive text. There are two generic structure of descriptive text. They are identification and description. Identification contains about the introduction of a person, place, animal, or object will be described. And description contains a description of something such as animal, things, place, or person by describing its features, forms, colors, or anything related to what the writer described. And the next is purpose of descriptive text. This text aims to describe person, thing, or place in particular or specific way. Next is the language feature of descriptive text. There are four language features of descriptive text such as specific participant specific participant has a certain object is that a common and unique for example is bandingan beach and another is my house barber temple uncle jim and so on and then the use of the adjective an adjective in descriptive text aims to clarify the noun for example a beautiful beach, a handsome man, the famous place in Jepara, etc. The tenses that used in descriptive text is simple present tense because it tells the fact of the object described. There are three patterns in simple present tense. The first is positive sentence that consists of subject, for one plus s or es plus object and plus adverb but it's optional in the sentence the example of positive sentence is she reads a novel a negative sentence consists of subject plus do or does plus not plus verb one and plus object the example is she does not read a novel and the last is interrogative sentence. Interrogative sentence consists of do or does plus subject plus verb one and object. And don't forget to put an interrogative sign. 
The example is Does you read a novel? Then action verb in descriptive text shows an activity such as run, sleep, work, cut, etc. This action verb similar with verb 1. This is the example and structure of descriptive text. Borobudur Temple Borobudur is Hindu Buddhist temple. It was built in the 9th century under Shalandra dynasty of ancient Mataram kingdom. Borobudur is located in Magala, central Java, Indonesia. Borobudur is well known all over the world. Its construction is influenced by the Gupta architecture of India. The temple is constructed on a hill 46 meters high and consists of eight step like stone terrace. The first five terraces are square and surrounded by walls adorned with Buddhist sculpture in bas relief. The upper three are circular. Each of them is with a circle of bell-shaped stupa. The entire edifice is crowned by a large stupa at the center of the top striker. The way to the summit extends through some 4.8 kilometers of passage and stairways. The design of Borobudur, which symbolizes the structure of the universe, influenced temples at Angkor, Cambodia. Borobudur Temple, which is rededicated as an Indonesian monument in 1983, is a valuable treasure for Indonesian people. Next is generic structure analysis of the text Borobudur Temple. The part of identification is Borobudur Temple because Borobudur Temple identifying the phenomenon to be described in general. In description part, describing the Borobudur Temple in parts, a terraces of Borobudur Temple and its characteristics. Then, language features analysis. The first is using adjective and classifiers. Assemble is valuable. And then, using simple present tense such as Borobudur is well known. Another example is the temple is constructed, blah blah blah, and etc. Okay, now. The time for exercise. There will be 10 questions related to the text and answer it correctly guys. Please read this text firstly to answer 10 questions in the next slide. Wow, good job! Well done! Hmm, I think you can try it later. Wow, great job guys! Well done! Oh, sorry, you chose a false answer. Wow, great job, guys! Hmm, well done! Yeah, the last is homework. Please make a descriptive text consists of two until three paragraphs by choosing one of the ten below. 
a person, such as best friend, family, siblings, actor, etc. And b place, such as beach, historical building, ancient country, and so on. Then, analyze the structure and language features of the text. Okay, this is the end of the learning. Don't forget to collect your homework before the next meeting. If any questions or comments, please email me on my email address that I have attached on the next slide.